The mission of Critical Path Institute is to serve as a catalyst to advance the development of medical innovation and regulatory science. We tackle the challenges in critical areas of regulatory science, the ones that are too big for any single institution to ever find a solution to. The collaborative framework that we use at Critical Path Institute enables us to get the scientific community to move forward towards a consensus opinion. The public-private partnership model that we use at, at CPATH is what enables the protection that all of the stakeholders are looking for to be comfortable working in that pre-competitive space. When teams are globally dispersed, we have to assure that we are accounting for the perspective of everyone that's participating in that collaboration. This is a spirit I've tried to instill in our staff and all of our multiple partners at CPATH. As I'm passing the baton to CPAS next leader, I see some really exciting opportunities ahead. I am certain there are going to be continual disruptive technologies that are being put forth. Everyone is talking about artificial intelligence and machine learning, and how that can be applied in drug development is going to be an important question to answer. Wearable devices and other digital devices that monitor in the home are of interest in the pharmaceutical industry. We also are very active in the space of data aggregation and quantitative modeling solutions. So you'll be hearing a lot more from CPATH in the future. I believe entrepreneurship and innovation are alive and well in Arizona. We have benefited from a number of partnerships. The one I'll mention is with TGen. We have created a number of internships for undergraduates and graduate students. And very soon, we'll be launching new fellowship opportunities we also have developed a regulatory science graduate certificate course with the University of Arizona. So you can see that CPATH is doing its part to make Arizona a leader in the world of regulatory science.